sure that you use the options menu to adjust your brightness setting. Some games are supposed to be played in the dark. Cthulhu will occasionally manipulate graphics, sound, and controls in an unusual way. Bleah. Hey guys, this is the Angry GM, and we're going to be playing an interesting one today. Horror. The true horror that paralyzes the mind and scars it with nightmares is never Hey everybody, it's me again. I'm gonna turn down the sound for just a minute here. I kind of want to ramble about this game for a minute. Yeah. Ooh, that was good. Alright, um, so today I decided that I was gonna work on the second uh, series for my channel, which I decided was going to be since I am a very big fan of the subject. Pardon me. Um, the Call of Cthulhu. Um, I have been following this since... Shit, since nearly I could read. I've devoured everything I could get on my hands on, developed by HP Lovecraft, and uh, I've played the tabletop I games. I've read a lot of the offshoot <laughs> works. Anything that was considered attributed to mythos, or to the mythos, I have devoured almost in its entirety. The only thing that I have not tried is the recent release of, Ko or of the uh, Chaosium system. I think it was like 7.0 or something. So I, I kind of want to get my hands on that. But today, what I wanted to do is normally I don't like playing a game that I have played before. Um, especially a horror game because usually you lose all of the all of the twists and it's just not as scary. But the thing is, is that this game is a gem amidst the amidst the horror games and the you know the, everything that came out in the last twenty years. And this was one of this game basically uh, was one of the biggest uh, AAA gaming tragedies of all time because the game was so fantastic. It was epic, absolutely you. staggeringly done, we can see and. You. In 2001, when it got out, they started to work on the other two that were supposed to be part of an, an incredibly potent horror trilogy, which they just couldn't get a publisher for them by 2006 and just closed down. So, uh, what was it? Uh, World or Call of Cthulhu: Destiny's End and Call of Cthulhu: Beyond the Mountains of Madness never got produced. Um, now this game actually has a pretty pretty hefty pedigree for those of you who pay attention to that sort of thing. Um, according to my research, uh, or the reading that I did, I should say, it's not even properly research, but Head First Productions actually developed the game, um, which you saw them on the logos, but the actual big names right behind them um, are pretty impressive. You saw the Bethesda logo that showed up, and for those of you who are not familiar with Bethesda, you should crawl out from under the rock and play Fallout, um, or Skyrim, either or. Um, if you're looking for some vintage, uh, I wouldn't say no to Morrowind either. Um, the second company on that huge potency list is uh, Ubisoft of Screed and Far Cry th uh, fame. Um, as well as many, many other games. It's actually a really impressive company. And then lastly, um, we have money coming into this by 2K Games, which is, uh, uh, pretty, which is pretty much, uh, famous for Borderlands and putting out the same football game every year. So, <laughs> um, so, uh, there is that. Um, I decided to put my, my huge, uh, my huge uh, mental database of Cthulhu uh, s related stuff to use in this video. So um, I'm basically going to give you guys a tour of Cosmic Horror Land and how it makes you the crazy. So um, in this game we're going to deal with a couple of really common Call of Cthulhu uh, 
entities. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with this, with the game itself or with the mythos, we're going to be dealing with deep ones. We're going to be dealing with a Shoggoth. We're going to be dealing with um, human deep one hybrids. We got all kinds of terrible, terrible stuff in this game, and all of it was was shit that was written about in the 1920s of all things. So this terrible, terrible concoction of a game came out of the mind uh, out of the mind of a man a hundred years ago. So, you know, there is that. Now this game is almost almost verbatim in its entirety of uh, it, <laughs> it's it's actually a combination of two novellas that Lovecraft himself wrote and I'm trying to remember exactly what they are. One was Shadows over er, Shadow over Innsmouth. Um, which is the name of the town that you spend most of the time in this game, in, And the other one was, uh, I want to say Shadow Out of Time, but I could be wrong on that. Go ahead and throw in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, you know, I'd love to, I'd love to know if, uh, if my information is incorrect. So, um, without further ado, let's get into it and find out the story that is going to scare the potatoes out of us. So, now we have it nice and loud, but you can still hear me. Hope that's okay. Okay, you'll see the continue there. I only started it up just to make sure Fraps worked with it. Um, I, I like to poke around the, the opening of the game just to make sure the programs are all working and the recording is going on. So, here we go. Um, we're going to do this on Private Investigator. Now, I know um, I'm only going to play through the game once for this Let's Play. But I know that when you complete the game, you're supposed to get something, like it mentioned, you're supposed to get something called Mythos Points, which re basically represents your the main character's uh, knowledge about the, the terrible things outside space and time. So the points basically allow you to unlock uh, extra information about Mythos entities, other terrible creatures that are in there, like the Byaki or the Dark Young or anything like that you know, the hundreds of monsters that are in this mythos. Um, but it also allows you to get extra items inside the game. Um, but we're going to be a private investigator because hardened detective and mythos specialist are locked still. And I think beating private investigator unlocks detective and detective unlocks specialist. So we're going to go with the highest possible. Bam. 16th February, 1922. Arkham Asylum. Now, at my end, I can fully see. My last case opened in me a new fear. A real fear. A fear of myself, of what I am, and of what I've always been. All that I was is now lost. Hope, purpose, pleasure, all meaningless. I now walk in the shadows between worlds, and it is there I have finally glimpsed upon what lives in the dark corners of the Earth. I didn't even get the time to read that off. I'm kind of sad about that. Okay, I'm gonna have the game tips up just 
you know, in case there's anything I forget. The, the thing is, is that I told you I played this before, but that's not... I mean, that is accurate, but only to a degree. See, I... The last time I played this game was a year after it came out, in 2002. So it's been 11 years since I've played this game. Um... The last time I played this game, I got all the way up to the very end. No spoilers, we'll get there together, guys. Um... But I got up to the end uh, while I was living with an old roommate. He, we're still friends, even though I should have killed him over this. It was hilarious. Uh, it wasn't at the time, but he uh, had decided that he wanted to try it, and so he started playing uh, it on Xbox, which is what I was playing it on, and um, he wound up accidentally saving over my 15 minutes from the end movie file. So... I was really disappointed in that, and I did not want to have to go through the whole game a again at the time, and so I just didn't play it again. So here we are. I'm going to see if this game stands the test of time and can still scare me. Six and a half years ago. Robert, this had better be good. What's the beef? Sorry, Jack. We had to call. This fellow will only talk to you. Name's Victor Holt. Don't know any Victor. He's the leader of this weird cult that moved in here a few months back. Got about 20 followers. They've been causing trouble all over town. Stealing, going through folks' trash. Hanging around outside people's homes at all hours. No one ever presses charges, though. They're a screwy bunch. They've got the locals scared. So tonight, we were just passing, you know, doing the normal rounds, when we heard gunshots fired from their property. Gunshots? Hang on there. No one said anything about gunshots. Who have we got out here? Eh, just me, Nichols, and a few new recruits. Well, that's just great. Lead the way, Robert. I better check out this crazy gang of yours. Alright, sorry about the choppy bits in the video. Um... It seems that my computer is still fighting me constantly, but at least Come mostly on, this game is old enough that it's smooth. It's only choppy a couple of times because of fraps, so, um, give me a second to orient my controls and I'll be happy to proceed, so, let's see. Hurry up, Jack. You're a toggle, you're stealth, right? What's that? Let's jump. Okay, so... Now, I remember that there is no HUD in this game at all. If you want to aim a gun... So long. Something must be wrong. If you want to aim I a gun... I think I saw him with Officer Armstrong. Armstrong. Just take it easy. We're wide open here. It's okay. I've got you covered. I don't like this. Something's not right. Something's not right? Nothing's right about this. Anyway. Um... So yeah, let's do this. It always begins with cultists. Evening, Jack. Glad you could join the freak show. How's it looking, Henry? I don't like this one bit, Jack. Check the alley on the right. Victor Holt's over there in the shadows. He's waiting for you. Can we trust him? Nope, but we've got you covered. You better take it slowly, though. They're a bit twitchy. Try to stay calm! Okay, so, alright, uh, okay, action go. Um, apparently somebody put the first shot and they decided to pick a fight, so, yay. Alright, so, that's, that, is this a use? Hey, a use? Okay, so, 
Let's have a look inside this house. I'm gonna go up until the end of the house because I remember that the first chapter is not very long at all. It is the exploration of this house and the, the team of cultists that live here. So once that's done, I'll end the video and we'll see where to go from there. Right. This blasphemous image makes me feel uneasy. The fire is still burning. A powerful painting of some cosmic horror. So, it turns out that Jack Walters is a private investigator, which means he apparently, I mean, that gives him the superpower of basically blatantly stating anything that comes into his head. A depiction of some alien creature. Basically, every time I use a picture... That's an unusual design. Man, the voice actor for this must have gotten paid stupid amounts of money. Okay, it's getting a little choppy. As I continue to translate the narcotic fragments, I become more and more eager to contact my Yithian masters. These beings truly are gods to us. Their intellect and knowledge surpasses ours in ways impossible to comprehend. I know now just how insignificant mankind is in the universe. A doomed and simple species thrown up as a side effect of an experiment by the Elder Things. It is a blessing that such flawed creatures as ourselves have such a short and limited future. Picked up first journal item, select book icon, interface, blah 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 blah. Okay. So, journal? No. Well, it looks like the video is getting a little choppy. If it continues to do so, I'll just load the I'll load this video and then I'll keep going until I get to the end of the house. All right, guys. Oh, all right. It's continuing to do that, and my camera is shooting around. So here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm going to cut this video and then I'm going to pick up another one. So I'll see you guys in a minute. This is the angry GM, and I'll be on I'll be in the corner of there. You know how the ending goes. I'll see you in the next video.